backstage at the Once in a Lifetime tour with my Uncle Merrill. Hello, everybody. <laughs> How are you doing? Good. How about you? I'm doing so good, I can't stand it. Good. So how has this tour been for you? It's been amazing. We've, we've enjoyed every bit of it. Everybody seems to have uh, found a lot of little, a lot of peace doing what they do. We got, uh, we got Jay playing his drums. And uh, Jay's one of the best drum players in the country. And we're all getting to play our instruments, and uh, that's fun. A lot, lot of difference between here and let's say Branson, Missouri. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, what do you like about being on tour as opposed to Branson? Well, I think I think it has to do with the crowd reaction. I mean, if you've listened to some of the crowd reaction, you've, you've probably heard the, the screams <laughs> and the yells and the security, and it's just like crazy stuff, you know. Uh -huh. it's, a, it's a tad different than in the States. I mean, it, yeah. it's, it's good reaction in the States, but nothing like this. Right. So that you play an instrument. What instrument do you play? Well, I play so. piccolo, and I play a harp. No, no. I play the bass, and I play the... That's just what I do. I play the bass. I do a lot of the singing. I sing with your dad. Your dad and I uh, take the leads, and we just go back and forth. It saves our voices. You know, we'll do about an hour out there, and, and it, it takes a toll on your voice. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. So I know that you're touring with David Essex and Leo Sayer. How's that been? They are both studs. I mean, they are both. You know, you rarely find, in my opinion, the kind of entertainer that's been through it so long that they know what it's like to get out there and work hard. Yeah. You get some of these new entertainers, they've been given stuff so fast, so quickly, they don't appreciate right. the fan that's out there really, really giving their all to as well. So they're both incredibly entertainers, and they're good friends of ours too. So how long have you known them? Were they on your tour last Again, year? Again, you know, through the 70s, it's been like, you know, uh, you, we all grew up with each other. Yeah. Leo Sayers and, and David Essex and us, so we go way, 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 way back. Way, way, way back. <laughs> so if you had to give one piece of advice to someone, what would it be? throughout your career? Well, if it's the music industry, good luck. <laughs> no, no. It, it, you gotta be yourself, you gotta be unique, you gotta find your own sound, and you gotta find your own niche. If you don't do that, then you become like everybody else. Yeah. But if you truly can sing, and you truly are willing to work hard for it, and you're really willing to get out there and hustle your music, yeah. So, and, and also, if you believe in destiny, then you have a chance. Other than that, it's a tough, tough business to be in. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Uncle Merrill. It's good. Always you good are, chatting with you. You're welcome. And you know what? <laughs> You're as pretty as a bird. Thank you.